Good morning. We're going to go ahead and take two deep breaths and start with a prayer. Dear God, if left to my own devices, my perception will be skewed. I surrender to you everything that I think and feel. God, please take my past, plan my future, send your spirit to redeem my mind that I might be set free. May I be your channel, God, and serve the world. May I become who you would have me be, do what you would have me do, go where you would have me go, and say what you would have me say, and to whom. Thank you, God. Amen. Good morning. We are in lesson 336 today. And I will begin reading. Three hundred and thirty-six. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. Forgiveness is the means appointed for perceptions ending. Knowledge is restored after perception first is changed and then gives way entirely to what remains forever past its highest reach. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. For sights and sounds at best can serve but to recall the memory that lies beyond them all. Forgiveness sweeps away distortions and opens the hidden altar to truth. Its lilies shine into the mind and call it to return and look within, to find what it has vainly sought without. For here and only here is peace of mind restored, for this is the dwelling place of God himself. In quiet, make forgiveness wipe away my dreams of separation and of sin. Then let me, Father, look within and find your promise of my sinlessness is kept. Your word remains unchanged within my mind forevermore, whether I'm aware of it or not. Your love is still abiding in my heart and always, always, always. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. Lesson 336 in A Course in Miracles. I'm going to read my Ratty Taddy Alan Watson and Robert Perry book in Companion to A Course in Miracles, which I love. I obviously have had this a long time. It's helped me a lot over the years. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. In the text, the Course speaks of the idea that minds are joined as something that is experienced in a holy relationship where two people have joined together in common purpose, what is called in one place a common state of mind. In a healthy, holy relationship, the members of that relationship regularly practice forgiveness with one another. The result is stated as follows. This is the function of your holy relationship for what one thinks the other will experience with him. What can this mean except your mind and your brothers are one? Look not with fear upon this happy fact and think not that it lays a heavy burden on you. For when you have accepted it with gladness, you will realize that your relationship is a reflection of the union of the Creator and His Son. The idea that forgiveness somehow is somehow connected to the experience of linked minds is not intuitively obvious. Yet a little reflection seems to make it clearer for me. If I am unforgiving towards someone, there is certainly a barrier in our minds. I am mentally rejecting that other person and have no desire 
whatever to find myself mentally linked to them. My judgment is strong. My judgment is a strong no to that person's thoughts when I forgive. My mind opens to them. So my judgment is a strong no and when I forgive my mind opens. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. It opens the way for me to realize that this is true. Our perceptions tell us in a myriad of ways that we are separate beings. Forgiveness opens the way to an experience that takes us beyond perception and shows us the underlying unity that perception cannot see. Forgiveness opens the hidden altar to the truth. Within our minds we find the dwelling place of God himself. Forgiveness wipes away my dreams of separation and of sin. In the experience of union with another human being, we begin to remember our union with God and all of creation. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. I was riding to work listening. I listened to Hal in Pathways of Light and others. I listened to Lisa Natoli, David Hoffmeister. I listened to Hal. I listened to Hal almost with each lesson. Um, and then, you know, I listened to The Mighty Companion. I listened to everyone. So, <laughs> anyone, everyone and everyone. So, um, and I was sitting there listening to, you know, his interpretation of this lesson on the way to work. And I'm sitting here just all full of tension and stress. I have two people that called us sick again today, yesterday as well. And it's funny because it, it, I allow it to really wear on me. Um, and then of course everybody on the road is, is wrong. <laughs> it's just, it, it's, it's quite entertaining, um, to watch myself. Not, I'm at least grateful I can do that. Anyway, I'm going to take two deep breaths out and start with a prayer. It's time to start my day at work. I love you. I'm grateful for these few minutes of sanity and hopefully I'll be able to carry it into my day. I love you. I hope you will be able to too. Thank you. I love you.